back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you uh, why Daredevil is my favorite character. Uh, to do that, we're gonna start off with uh, the beginning um, of when I think Daredevil got good. And that will start off with the Frank Miller run. So over here I got my little Daredevil section. Um, I have the paperbacks of the Omnis. I know everyone has the Omnis, but what else? Paperbacks are good too. Um, these are the complete collections. Uh, this is volume one. Uh, this is the when the devil got good when Frank Miller took over, and uh, Bullseye was uh, doing some crazy stuff, as I'm sure you've heard before. Uh, and the Frank Miller one is when uh, Electra is, is introduced and. Bullseye and Electra, of course, is Dead Devil's love of his life, and uh, uh, Electra is murdered by Bullseye. It's not in this volume, but a lot of people would tell you to um, check out um, Dead Devil by Frank Miller and say that that's like the only one to get. I love it. I like it a lot, but it's not my favorite. It's good stuff though. Great art, especially when uh, when Frank Miller takes over. Uh, the art is killer. And uh, we got volume 2 and 3 over here. Uh, and then, going down the line, um, everyone says this is the seminal, like, this is the Daredevil story to get. Born Again, it's his best story. Um, it's what season 3 is, um, eventually, whenever that comes out on Netflix, is going to be based on, I hear. And they're finally going to introduce Bullseye. I mean, it's not in this story, but I guess we'll be replacing Nuke. Uh, Born Again is when uh, Kingpin takes out, um, or finds out that uh, Matt Murdock is Daredevil, and he systematically ruins his life, and I think Karen Page, yeah, Karen Page is the one who, um, like, basically gives it away, gives it away his information for drugs, and Karen Page is basically, you know, the reason why Daredevil's having such a hard time in this book, but... I can't wait for this, um, for this to be, um, a TV show on Netflix, it's gonna be great stuff. Alright, after that, you know, um, I'm gonna go through every book, I'm just gonna go, kind of show you some of them. Um, Anna Senti is another, was another big, uh, writer on Daredevil after Frank Miller. Um, this is a Ty Ford Mary stuff. Uh, Typhoid Mary, I hear it's gonna be in Iron Fist season two, which is pretty cool. I mean, she's a dead bad guy, but whatever. And uh, yeah, this is kind of like the some of it more Kingpin stuff. Kingpin's always his number one bad guy, which is cool because I love Kingpin. Um, this is the second part of this epic collection. This is uh, with Touch of Typhoid, I think, but well, the second one came out recently, which is the ends uh, the Sentinels run. After that, um, we got Guardian Devil by Kevin Smith, and this is when Bullseye gets crazy again and does some kills uh, Karen Page. You know, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert, I guess. But you know, these books are so so old. I'm sure you guys all have heard all of the all the stuff that's happened in Daredevil over the years, all the bad stuff. Um, I can't stand art like this. It's just like I like I like '90s art, but this '90s art is just super cheap to me. <laughs> but the book itself is great. The story is good, dark. Something about like a like a satanic baby or something. I don't really remember. I just remember the big stuff that happens in this. With but with Karen Page, Bullseye, and find out the bad guy in the end is Mysterio. And I love me some Mysterio. Um, I like Kevin Smith as a writer. Um, I like his Green Arrow stuff. He did. Yeah, that's the Kevin Smith stuff. Now, uh, after that, we had um. Yellow for Yellow, which is where, um, you know, part of the, the color series by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale, where uh, it's kind of like each book is like an emotional gut punch, you know, what happened to that character. This one is like a love letter to Karen Page, you know, after she's killed in the Kevin Smith run. Um, it's nice, you know, Tim Sale art, and basically he, he, the whole book is like him remembering all the good times with Karen Page and how he saved her from Purple Man, and if you're reading Daredevil, you know, probably you're, um, for a long time, this book is, uh, a great book to get, and 
it'll, it'll, and I feel like if you're if you've been reading for a long time, it'll make you have teary get a little teary eyed. I did at the end. It's a good one, but it's definitely not a book to get unless you've read a lot of Daredevil because you'd be like, okay, who's scaring Paige and what happened to her? You know, I mean, it explains it, but it's not gonna get the same experience. On to my favorite, my favorite run, Brian Michael Bendis. This is my favorite, well, Invincible, my favorite run. This is my second favorite comic book run of all time. Brian Michael Bendis is Daredevil. Like, it's dark, gritty, which you'll hear all the time about Daredevil, but. It's that perfect dark art, um, art that goes with the story. And this one, um, uh, King, you think Kingpin's dead? He's not dead. It's, uh, how do I explain this story? It's, it's hella good. That, that's about all I'm going to tell you. It's, um, how about, I'll read it back to you. I don't want to ruin it for you. You should read this. During a character defining run, Brian Michael Bendis crafted a pulp fiction narrative that exploited the man without fears, tapestry of characters, and psychodrama, and resolved them in an incredibly nuanced, modern approach, earning an Eisner Award for Best Series. Bendis and Alex Maleev restored Daredevil's luster to the all time greats. Now their historic collaboration is collected in all three paperbacks. Right. It's an Eisner Award winning, in my opinion, that by Michael Bendis' best stuff. So I won't spoil, spoil the story for this one, but you should check it out. It's so good. There's three big, thick paperbacks like this. To me, this is the best that I've run. And then after those three paperbacks, we get Brian, we get um, Ed Baker's run, which follows it completely after, right after um, uh, Bendis, literally, like, the minute Bendis' run ends, Bruce Baker's story takes over. And this is just as dark, just as effed up for anything that's happened to Matt Murdock. <laughs> More stuff happens, it gets worse, and, but it's, it's okay, you know? It, things, things get a little better at the end, but for the most part, it's, it's pretty, you know, I feel bad for a boy, Matt. Um, it's cool though, with a lot of Daredevil books, you get a lot of cameos in it. Like this one has Pun obviously Punisher is like linked to Daredevil. We got Iron Fist in the story runs around as Daredevil while he's in jail. Um, we got, you know, you get Spider-Man cameos, you get all these cameos. Um, Tombstones in it. It's just, it's a really good book, man. Daredevil's great. Blue Baker's a, a, good, a good run, but nothing beats Bendis, man. Let me tell you. Like, okay. I'll go back to Bendis for a second. Bendis in that run, he becomes the he becomes the kingpin of of a uh, New York City in the Bendis run, and then he takes over with Iron Fist and all the heroes are trying to like, hey man, what's going on? It kind of reminded me because I watched Luke Cage recently in season two, and uh, and Luke Cage kind of takes over the club, you know, and at the end, and uh, it reminded me of uh, Daredevil. I'm like, hey, it's kind of like you know Daredevil when he became the kingpin. It was, it was cool, little nod, you know, it wasn't actually. Uh, yeah, no, we're doing it with the cage. And after that, before we got Mark Wade, um, this is end of days, it's kind of like a um, what if story. It's when um, uh, Bullseye kills uh, Daredevil, and um, it's about Ben Ben Urich going going toward um, trying to find out you know last remaining stuff about Daredevil, and some people said they saw him alive, and it, this is a really good book if you've read a lot of Daredevil because. It kind of shows you, you know, if you wanted a, like an end to Bendis' story, this would be like a nice little end. You, obviously, the character's not going to end. He's too good. And, you know, but there's a nice little nod to his former lovers, Black Widow, and stuff like that. Um, it's a good book, but you got to read. Make sure you read some of Bendis' stuff and to fully love it. And after that, you got um, Mark Wade. He has five volumes. But I'm not sure about five hours. But uh, Mark Wade's run is um, known to be a little happier, you know, more swashbuckling, more just more fun in general. It's lighter art. It's a, uh, um, it's just not as dark. Not that many bad stuff happens to him, and it's just a lot more fun. It's a fun time, uh, which you can't really say about a hundred other books. I Man, it's a fun. It's a good book, but it's not a fun time. It's never been, his books definitely aren't a fun time. Um, but in uh, this one, he, uh, it's when, uh, he would wear the, the, the shirt that said, I'm, I'm not Daredevil because people were finding out he was Daredevil. 
and he, he kept denying it and denying it. And of course, towards the end, you, you actually find out that he is edible and he, and he stops wearing a suit. And he goes out in his red suit and just like, no, he's like, like suit, like lawyer suit to fight crime. But he, he's just taking it. It's a good run. And, you know, I got a love hate relationship with Mark Wade. I like a lot of his stuff. And, but lately, I haven't cared for him. Like, but this is one of his, like, his last great thing that he did, I believe, was that level. I mean, uh, Doctor Strange is okay, but, like, his Champions run was eh, and his Avengers stuff with the all new different Avengers. I love those, I love those kids, I love his Marvel, but, like, that run was okay. So, but I believe this is the last great Mark Raid book, and I'm happy with the Daredevil book, because I love Daredevil, he's my favorite character. Okay, after the five, um, I don't have a lot of Charles Soul stuff, but that's, he's the current, um, Rider on Daredevil. Um, I got volume four because um, this shows you how um, he makes everyone forget that he's Daredevil. So in Mark Wade's run, they find out he's Daredevil, and in this one, he it shows you how he puts it back. He puts um he puts it back so no one knows who he is. And I hadn't kept up after Mark Wade's run. And I was like, oh man, I let's find out how. You know, he did that. So I, I heard it was in volume four, so I grabbed it. Um, and I loved it so much that I've been reading Charles Soule's run since since this. After uh, volume four, I've been reading it in single issues. So, yeah. It has something to do with the Purple, purple Children, which is Purple Man's kids, who were introduced in Mark Raid's, Mark Raid's run. And um, it's good stuff. As always, all these writers have always done such good good job with Daredevil, man. He's, he's the luckiest character in comics, I feel like, because he, I feel like he's never had a bad run since I've started reading him. Like, he's always great. Miller did good. Nascenti did good. Um, Kevin Smith did good. Bendis, Blue Baker, Wade, and now Soul. And I love Soul, man. Soul's doing great stuff. He's bringing Wolverine back. He's, he's doing a lot of good stuff. Um, Darth Vader, you know. Anyways, so right now they're probably on like, I don't know what issue they're on, like, they restarted, they're probably on like issue like 603 or 5, I don't know, but the soul is still going on, it's had a run where uh, Kingpin was mayor, I believe he still is mayor, I don't know, I haven't read it, so don't quote me on that, but I, I read up to where he was mayor, I think, anyways, Point being, it's still going on. Um, it's good. I'll probably collect it eventually. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know about my love for Daredevil. I know this wasn't like really like a crazy good quality video, and I kind of mumble a lot, but I'm getting used to this YouTube thing a little bit. Maybe I'll get better eventually. Um, I'm gonna put my guys back. My my Daredevil, my Matt Murdock, a little cute and pop. One of my favorite pops I got my Shadowland Daredevil. I don't have Shadowland because I don't care about anything else but the main story and so the main story wasn't that great either. Shadowland's before um, Wade and after Brubaker. But I love the suit though. And then I got Bullseye. I got Yellow Daredevil and Kingpin up top up, but I'm not around here too many. I want the whole world to be Daredevil. Anyways guys. Hope you had fun spending time with me ramble on about my favorite hero. I say it was my favorite hero. I think it's kind of obvious it's my favorite hero, right? Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.